speaking against, you know, the politically correct narrative or against the so-called settled science. But like Dr. Mm-hmm. Heck, he said, he said if if science is, you know, if you can't debate the science, then science is dead, essentially. Mm. Yeah. So, and, well, that's right. And, you know, on this issue of settled science, um, I, I actually... Just, just a couple of days ago, I found this article, uh, a paper from 2013, um, and the author of it is Vinay Prasad. And Vinay Prasad, um, he, he's, he's um, gotten a bit of a profile through the, through the coronavirus pandemic because he's somebody who, he's, he's a haematologist and oncologist, and he's in America, he's American, and he um, has been very outspoken um, He's written, he's got a, a sub stack and, and he writes articles regularly now. And he's been someone who's pushed back against the, the sort of the mainstream narrative, not, not, um, not to the extent that, say, Peter McCulloch has, but he has um, certainly challenged key aspects of the, of the, of the mainstream sort of orthodox view. And um, so I found this article that Prasad wrote and, and published, uh, it was, a, you know, a study, a paper in 2013. And what that study looked at was um, that in, in the 10 year, in a 10 year period prior to that, he had found that they did a big analysis of, of medical, um, medical literature and found that there'd been 146 things, 146 instances of where there had been a, a standard of care or, a, you know, a settled science, so to speak. Uh, uh, this, is, this is the way the medical profession does something. Th- these are our standard practices where, they, where those, those practices had been um, overturned based on, you know, new, new light or, or based on the study or, you know. So, um, you know, 146 times, and some of those are very well known to all of us in the medical profession. So we all know about hormone replacement therapy and, you know, those of us who... Um, are um, a little bit, a little bit older. We'll know that you know um, th- there was the there was the orthodoxy on hormone replacement therapy in the nineteen nineties and nineteen eighties, and you know you give it to all women to, um, and it was thought to be a very positive, protective thing. And then they discovered that it was actually causing a whole lot of harm to some people, and and um, it was causing cardiovascular disease and strokes and so on. So. You know, so that that was that, that one was that one's very well known, and and so the whole science of that flipped in in about two thousand and one, um, and you know this things another another one that's prominent and well known is is, is coronary artery stenting and um, how the you know the former practice had been to to sort of stent anything you can you know regardless of whether there's symptoms regardless of whether there's uh, you know whether the disease is stable or unstable. You, 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 if you see a blockage, you stent it, and then and then that was revealed to be um, to be of no benefit and potentially of, of risk. So, so he got his this paper from 2013, and you can easily find it on the internet. It's you know 146 things like that where um, standard of care had changed and 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 been challenged and overturned by um, proper study being done, and so it just this idea that there's a settled science in, in medicine, you know, um, that we know the truth <laughs> and this truth is, is eternal and, and unchangeable. It's just ridiculous. And, you know, the, um, when you look at things like, um, when you look at gender transitions, which is a comp- very novel practice, especially in children, you know, giving puberty blockers to 12 year olds and um, yeah, yeah, there is no long-term safety data about any of this there's no long to it, it's just a complete it's an experiment and many many doctors and you know many professors worldwide have, have, have described it in those sorts of terms it's it's a, a unregulated you know i think an oxford professor has said it's an un, unregulated live experiment on children you know that that's all you know but but it's still uh, despite all that the australian system and the Australian APRA and medical board are, are saying, no, it's a settled science, you contradict it. And because you contradict it, we're going to get you. 